All right, hi everybody. It's Christy from Make It Take It. I'm here to do a weaving video for you. You have all of these supplies in your big box of crafts. We're gonna start with our loom. This is basically a piece of cardboard with some little notches cut on either side. You can choose to weave either this way or this way. I'm gonna go the long way uh, right now for this video, but you have options. All right, so you need your loom, you need some twine or yarn. You definitely need yarn, the twine is optional. This is what I like to use to warp my loom. Warping is the term where you wrap the thread around and that is what you're gonna weave onto. So I like to use twine, it's just um, my personal preference, but if you wanna use yarn, you can do that as well. You're also gonna need a craft stick. We are going to um, make this into a little wall hanging, a little miniature hanger. Um, so you're gonna need your craft stick for that, and then you're gonna need some scissors as well, and then this uh, needle that you have in your kit. All right, so those are all the supplies you need to gather right now. And we're gonna go ahead and start weaving. So like I said, I'm gonna use the twine to start. Just unravel a little bit. There's plenty on here, you won't use all of it. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna do in the upper left or the bottom left, let's do the bottom. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. You can do whichever one you want. So I'm just gonna thread, this is gonna be my front side and this is gonna be the back side. So I'm gonna leave enough thread here to go, you know, just almost halfway up. I forgot to mention you need tape and you've got some painter's tape in your box or you can use scotch tape or whatever you have handy. So I'm gonna tape that down. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight up to this next notch and then I'm gonna go to this notch right next to it and then I'm gonna go down. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the notch right next to that and up. Okay, then I'm gonna go next notch, down. Next notch and then up. Until you get to that opposite corner. So you can see I've got the twine going all the way across here and you want it kind of tight. You wanna be able to um, get it your yarn through, but you also don't want it to be super loose. Okay, then we're gonna turn this over and you can see that there aren't strings going up and down the back. So what you want are these little loops along the edges and then you know that you've warped it correctly. So then we're gonna cut that again and then we're gonna tape this down as well. Okay. Probably didn't need that much there. Okay. So now your loom is warped. That's your fancy term, your weaving term for the day. Your, your loom is warped, okay? So we've got this ready to go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our yarn. You can use whatever yarn you'd like. You can use as many colors as you'd like. I'm I chose just two colors for this one, but you have a lot to choose from in your box. And any yarn that you have at your house, uh, any kind of fiber, you could use fabric, you can use paper, you can weave with a lot of different things. Okay, but for this project, I'm gonna use two different colors. Let's start with this teal, I like this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, the best 
advice I have for weaving and how much yarn to actually use. I touch my nose and I go all the way out as far as I can and then I'm gonna cut it there. Okay, so you have just enough, just arm's length really. Then what you're gonna do is thread your needle Okay, so you wanna leave a little bit of a tail on your needle, okay? And now what we're gonna do is the actual weaving. Weaving is the process of just going over and under, over and under, and what you're doing is you're securing your yarn in this warp so it holds all together. And whether you start under or over, it doesn't really matter. I usually start under. Um, I don't know why, but I just do. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And you can see my needle is going under this first one, over the next one. Under, over. Under, over under and then I'm gonna pull this through I don't want to pull it all the way through I want to leave a little bit of a tail then I'm going to just pull that down a little bit okay so now I've got over under now when you go back the other way you're gonna do the opposite so I went under this last one, so now I'm gonna go over. So I go over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And then you're gonna pull the yarn through. So when you get to this part, you don't wanna pull it too tight. You see how it pulls that in and it makes it kinda of go like this. We don't want that to be very tight. So we're just gonna let it kind of rest there and then we're gonna push it down that's called beading <laughs> okay so now we're gonna go back the other way and now it's under over under over under over under okay if you need to watch this a few times that is fine. Feel free to pause this video, of course, and just watch it as many times as you need to, to get it. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm just going to weave this next little bit until it's time to change colors and then I'll show you what to do. You don't have to change colors, but you will run out of yarn before you finish this. So I'm gonna show you how to change your yarn, whether it's a different color or not. My tail got caught in there. Okay, I can probably go one more row. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the tail off to the side. 
And now let's change our colors. So, this time I'll do gray. Okay, so we can see where I ended with my tail over here and I was going under. So now I'm going to just start with my gray, just like I would have if the blue or the turquoise was still attached. And I'm gonna leave a little tail here. And then I'm gonna keep going. Okay, basically I'm just squishing the yarn down. I want to make it kind of tight. I don't want it to be a super loose weave. Okay. And I'm just going to keep going. All right, I'm gonna call this good. If I wanted to, I could add a whole lot more. I can just squish this down. You can see that you can get a whole lot more space, but I'm gonna leave it just like it is so we can go ahead and finish this off and I can show you how to do that. Um, one thing that I want at the bottom is some fringe, and so I'm gonna show you how to do that. This is a little, uh, this is a little advanced, so um, don't be, don't be sad if you can't get it right away. It's a little, um, it can be a little tricky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut a strand. This is way too long. I'm not gonna use this much, but. It's better to have it longer than shorter because you can always trim it if you get a little haircut. So I fold it in half and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna put the loop side through my needle. We're gonna thread this loop through the needle and you're gonna pull it around I did that wrong let's try again you're gonna put it around one of these strings okay so you're not gonna pull it all the way through now you can take your needle off what you're gonna do is you're gonna have the loop end and then you've got these cut ends you're gonna pull the cut ends through the loop and pull it tight, okay? And then that's gonna hang down like fringe. That one was really long, so I'm gonna make it, this one a little shorter. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do this again. Pull the loop through, wrap it around one of those. Okay, so now I have the loop end through and the cut ends. I'm gonna put the cut ends through the loop and pull it, okay? Then I have another thing of fringe. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and work all the way across the bottom. Can't find my end, there it is. If you want the yarn, if you want the fringe to be thicker or multicolor, you can just add multiple strands of yarn at a time and you can even push it through with your finger. It's just easier for me, especially if you've already got things on there woven, it's easier to do it with the needle for me to pull that through. Okay. All right, so now I have some fringe at the bottom. Gonna give it a little haircut. You can add more too if you want it to be thicker or another extra row. You can do that over and over. Just gonna leave this like this for now. Okay, so we have all these ends left. We're going to worry about those after we take our Hanging, while hanging off the loom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off. Like this, we're gonna be careful because it will just slide right off. So I'm gonna start with the bottom. I lie to start with the top. I'm gonna use my craft stick right now and just put it through these loops. To keep everything where I want it. And then I'm just going to take off the bottom. First thing I want to do is I want to tie a knot on the end. So I don't have that yarn coming right off. And I'm going to pull, I'm going to push my weaving down a little bit. So it hits the edges of those loops at the bottom. Okay, and it's just gonna stay on there nicely. There. Okay. I'm just gonna fix this. I pulled it a little weird when I pulled it off. I'm just gonna smush this down 
a little bit so I can get my loops how I want them. And then I want this loop okay slide that graph stick through okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this end one. I'm having a little struggle, and you guys probably will too, just keeping it straight. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna tie a little knot here to hold this one. This is one where you might need to get your parents to help you. And even then, like, look at me, I'm a grown up and I do, I've done this a lot. <sighs> okay. All right, so we have our hanging here. And now we need to get rid of these little edges. We don't want those hanging off. So what you're gonna do is you're going to do each one, you're just gonna thread it with your needle. And then you're going to go down the whole side of your weaving and you can pull it through the bottom. Like that. Okay, so you can either leave that dangling to be part of the fringe or once you're done, you can trim it off. Sometimes if they're too short, I'll do the needle first, then I'll put the yarn through. Then I'll pull it down. Okay. And then you can just trim those off. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Here's my first one. I'm just tying a knot in that one and then I'm gonna trim it. Oh. You don't have to go all the way down either. Just when you've done that, you can go ahead and trim it.
picture is, and I'm going to go up. Almost done. my little wall hanging. If you wanted to use washi tape to decorate your craft stick or paint it, it could be really cute. All right, so there's our weaving project. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can use a whole bunch of different looms. You can make your own out of cardboard. You can try different patterns. There are a lot of fun things that you can do with weaving. So. Anyway, I hope you caught the bug and uh, we'll see you in our Zoom or in the store soon. Bye.